So it's now my pleasure to bring up a special lady, Janae Radford, Janae Radford who is going to introduce her mama, <laughs> Chairwoman June Wood. Please welcome Janae Radford. All right. Good afternoon. My name is Janae Raffer and I am June Wood, eldest daughter, and it is my honor to introduce her today. You know, to be honest, public speaking, public speaking frightens me, so bear with me. But there's no better person more fit for this role today than myself. At this point in my life, I am constantly reflecting on all my mother's accomplishments and how far she has truly come. Many of you may know her as the June Wood that was elected chair of the Henry County Board of Commissioners in the December 6, 16 general election runoff. But many of you may not know the June Wood prior to. Her journey was not an easy one. It definitely came with hard work, dedication, and last but not least, God by her side. June Wood earned her bachelor's degree in civil engineering from the University of Alabama in 1987 shortly after she began her career with the Southern Company. She spent more than 26 years in a career with Georgia and Alabama Power, retiring in 2013 as Georgia Power's Metro South Region External Affairs Manager. She served for Clayton, Butts, Henry, South Fulton, and Fayette Counties. Within the years spent with the Southern Company, June Wood also served in an executive development role with the CEO of Georgia Power, managed outside Metro lighting sales terms and served as the customer service manager of the Georgia Power statewide inbound sales and customer service representatives. Now, many of you may know her as the June Wood that was elected chair of the Henry County Board of Commissioners, but not the June Wood prior to. Wood is the past chair of the Henry County Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors and the past chair of the Southern Crescent Technical College Board. She also served as the co-leader of the Henry County's Economics and Education, which mobilized over 100 of Henry County's elected and appointed leaders, school system representatives, businesses, and other community stakeholders to improve student academic performance and workforce development. This group of individuals, along with the Henry County's le legislators, excuse me, secured funding for the Southern Crestal Technical College and Henry County's College and Career Academy. Throughout the year, she has received many awards and recognitions for her achievements. Now, many of you may know the June Wood that is currently chair, the June Wood that served on a board or committee, the June Wood that served with the Southern Company. I can go on and on, but no one knows the June Wood that lies behind the scenes. She is a wife. She is a sister. She's a daughter. She's a friend. Most times she's my personal counselor. But last but not least, she is my mother. When she first brought to me the idea of running for chair, I thought, Mom, <laughs> you're no politician. Your heart is too pure, and I heard politics can get rough at times. Her response to me was, it was her calling from God to run for this position so she could assist in bringing a change to Henry County. Ever since she began the campaign trail in 2016, she has not let her foot up off of that pedal. Every obstacle she encounters, she tries to overcome with dignity and grace. For every problem she is faced with, I literally watched her try to come up with neutral solutions for all parties involved. In my eyes, June Wood is one of the most selfless people I know, and I know who continues to put others first. She continuously sacrifices her own peace, fighting and believing for a better tomorrow. June Wood, my mother, whenever she believes in something, she will never give up, and she remains in faith until it blossoms. I can honestly stand here before you today and say that she believes in Henry County. Now, without further ado, would you please help me in introducing my mommy, the Chair of Commissioners, June Wood. All right.
Now, am I a proud mama? Yes. Um, Janae, I just want you to know that with God, you would do greater things. So thank you for that kind introduction. So here we are today, and I do take a moment to understand that we're on the eve of 9-11. So I just do want to pause and commend those that I honor who serve on our public safety teams, who serve as veterans, who have been that example of heroism and courage. So we honor you today. So thank you for being here today. And then I look over here to the right. Commissioners, there is greatness that has happened. And I see so much more greatness of more to come. And I just want to say it is my honor to serve with you. I look at the staff that is here that works tirelessly. We applaud you for being here and the work that you do as well. But I also want to say thank you to the other partners who are elected and appointed officials, those who are with the Atlanta Region Commission, those are with every agency that is making Henry County the great place that it will continue to be. So I say thank you as well. So Henry County, we're working for you to catch up and get ahead. So let's take a quick moment to reflect. Give us all a round of applause. <laughs> well, as you may know, we are still amongst the fastest growing counties in Metro Atlanta, with a 2% growth rate in the last year. Henry County's population is right at 240,900, and so we've had 6,100 new residents since last year. And our population has about doubled since 2000. With this growth, race and ethnicity since 2010 to 2018 has changed. We have a senior population of 12% compared to 8.5%, and African American population now 45% compared to 37%, a white population of 42% compared to 52%, a Hispanic population at 7% compared to 6%, and even our Asian population remained at 3%, and others rose by 1% since 2010. With these growth rates, our goal is to blend. So Henry County remains prosperous and economically sound for all of our residents. Since 2010, Henry County has added more than 16,000 new jobs. 
Our median household income is more than $67,000, which is higher than that of the Atlanta region, which is at 65,000 plus. And our poverty rate is lower than that of the Metro Atlanta. Well, with all of this change and this fast paced growth, traffic congestion is the top issue for our citizens and businesses. And approximately 53% of our residents are commuting at an estimated 7.3 million miles daily to work outside of Henry County. But I also say we want to say thank you to the more than 1,100 Henry County residents who are participating in the Georgia Commute Options Program, for you have actually saved 2.1 million commuter miles. So we're working to catch up and get ahead of these growth trends. And I say Henry County has now, as it's been stated, has more Georgia Department of Transportation pre-construction and construction projects underway than any other county in the state. And we thank you, the voters, who supported the special purpose local option sales tax that we call SPLOST. This is a penny tax paid by those who shop and spend here in Henry County. And it has allowed us to complete major road and capital projects without using the general fund. SPLOS 4 included seven major transportation projects, including the Campground Road Extension, the McDonough Parkway Connector, Anvil Block Road Construction, West Panola Road Construction, the design and right-of-way of State Route 81, totaling more than $15.2 million. There have even been 16 improvement and intersection projects at a cost of $11.8 million, 17 bridge improvements for approximately $2.6 million, and 56 resurfacing, widening, and surface treatment projects costing over $14.4 million. And as a notable transportation achievement, last month, the Board of Commissioners approved a resolution to show solidarity and to request the Georgia Department of Transportation to begin work on the Western Parallel Connector Project, which will give the county a new four-lane road on the west side of I-75 to ease traffic congestion. Also, efforts are still underway to request more state and federal funding for the proposed I-75 Bethlehem Road interchange. And this would help address the safety and freight traffic in our industrial corridor. We're making progress and much more work is required to keep the focus on projects that are in the short term plan and also the need to accelerate more long range projects. Our partnerships with the Georgia Department of Transportation and the Atlanta Region Commission must continue. As we stated earlier, you the voters and visitors have made significant contributions to the infrastructure improvements through SPLOST. And as the SPLOST 4 project program comes to a sunset in the next couple of months, I would be remiss if I didn't thank the extraordinary progress that has been experienced due to the approximately $191 million that has been collected through the current SPLOST. And it's been expended not just for infrastructure improvements, but for public safety enhancements and also for quality of life initiatives. So this brings us now to public safety. Our continuous focus on public safety is also a must. We do not take for granted that our crime index remains lower than surrounding counties. And we're committed to doing all that we can to lower crime even more. We now have better pay and benefits to retain and recruit police officers, firefighters, sheriff deputies, judges, and other public safety officials. And even recently, there were 20 new police officer positions included in the Henry County budget to help keep you safe without increasing your tax rate. And we say again, thank you all again for the progress. Now, our current SPLOS program has invested millions of dollars into our public safety, including a new emergency communications 911 radio system, 30 fully equipped police vehicles to replace the aging fleet, fire service apparatus, equipment, and ambulances. 
the buildings and openings of three new fire stations and one replacement station to best serve all of Henry County. The county just approved a capital project list that will address even more public safety needs. We're moving in the right direction to catch up and to move ahead all at the same time. Hundreds of jobs paying above our median income levels continue to come to Henry County. The unemployment rate decreased from 36.4% to 3.8% with the growth of businesses and industry. Our home values have rebounded and continue to rise and our property values increased on average 16%. We must commend our development authority, which has worked proactively to bring more jobs and more economic development to Henry County. Even earlier this year, Sanction Technology announced that it will create 200 jobs and invest $20 million in the first North American manufacturing facility to be located right here in Henry County. Other major companies making a home here in Henry include Pepperidge Farm, Amchar Wholesale, Tesis, and Project Verte, bringing a combined 640 jobs and more than $60 million of capital investment. National company KL Outdoors, which is the country's largest kayak maker, is investing $8.3 million in opening its manufacturing and distribution facilities in our community and creating 100 new jobs. Yes, please note that the commercial businesses pay more than 22% of our Henry County taxes, while the industrial high-tech distribution centers are paying nearly 24.7% of the total tax net digest. And these businesses include Home Depot, Luxottica, which is the world's largest producer of glasses and, and sunglasses, Hydro Systems, Blue Buffalo, U.S. Cold Storage, did, uh, and even DeWalpa Bakers. All of these companies are making huge investments here in Henry County, and we're honored that they've chose to locate here. But I cannot go further without recognizing that freight is an integral part of Henry County's economy, but is also having significant impacts on our outdated transportation network. Over 25% of the jobs located in Henry County are, state, are located near State Route 155 and Interstate 75. And equally, the movement of freight in and through Henry County is playing an essential role in the state, particularly along I-75 as the main connection, along with I-16 and the Port of Savannah and that leads to the ports of also located in Florida. Again, it is true that we must address the freight traffic in our industrial corridors now and for the future which is why our county staff is analyzing the impact that traffic is having on our infrastructure on a continuous basis through the creation of a transportation impact fee. Again, we're working to catch up and move ahead, and I say again, all at the same time. But let's talk more about quality of life. Here in Henry County, for it is also a key factor for success, for our families and for our children, quality life is important. The current SPLOS also funded the construction of Village Park in Fairview, Buddy Park in McDonough, and Tanger Ball Fields in Locust Grove, along with several other park additions and upgrades totaling $13.2 million, all to beautify and to make recreational space, activities, and opportunities for our families locally. The county was also able to build the new Bear Creek Senior and Recreation Center and a kitchen addition to the Locust Grove Senior Center. Again, quality of life and family entertainment are areas that we must continue to improve in. Well, Henry County, we are still in store for a bright future for our county and for our cities, for our communities and for our families. Again, we got to catch up and we've got to move ahead. Henry County must work together to leverage innovation, advanced technology, and state-of-the-art infrastructure to be a vibrant and inclusive community for our residents and for our businesses. Areas in Henry County are already becoming key regional centers. 
And we have an opportunity to work past city and county districts to shape development into regional clusters. For an example, in North Henry, Stockbridge and also the area emerging just west of I-75 from Eagles Landing Parkway to Jonesboro Road, these are areas that have excellent opportunity to become a medical and technology district. The area in McDonough, it continues to take form as a workforce development and innovation district with modernized Henry County Schools, the Academy for Advanced Studies, Southern Crescent Technical College, Mercer University, Gordon College, and Clayton State University, working to provide work-ready employees for our growing companies and businesses. So we often hear requests for more and more local family events and entertainment. And this brings us to the opportunities that are around the Atlanta Motor Speedway in the Hampton area and in North Henry along I-675 and west of I-75 near Stockbridge. They all have the potential to become major family and entertainment districts with mixed-use developments featuring hotels, restaurants, high-end retail, mixed-use residences, and offices with beautiful green space. For more future family and entertainment and economic development, plans are already underway and a feasibility study are already underway for a future convention center and a state-of-the-art aquatic center which are included in the SPLOS 5 project list. Not only will these destination attractions benefit our local seniors and youth and medically challenged citizens, but it will also be an economic engine that will attract tourism and businesses to our county. Additionally, a Boys and Girls Club and other parks and recreation enhancements are included in the SPLOS 5 projects to serve our families throughout the county. Recently, the Board of Commissioners approved the SPLOS 5 referendum for the November ballot, which if approved, will be a continuation of the SPLOS penny approved by voters in 2013. Now I've heard some concerns about the SPLOS 5 project list, but we have an opportunity for those who shop and visit us to help pay for transportation, public safety, and family entertainment and recreation needs for our county. SPLOS 5 helps us move forward and actually helps us keep taxes lower. In addition to the recreation projects that are listed, the approved SPLOS 5 project list includes transportation projects to address the issues that are most important to our citizens and our businesses. And included in that list are major transportation projects for Rock Quarry Road, Peaksville Road, Highway 81, and many others. As we continue to focus on this growth, we must continue the focus to catch up ahead, and especially as it relates to our infrastructure, including transportation networks, technology networks, and maintaining award-winning water systems. It is key that we make major technology advancements for autonomous vehicles and electric vehicles and position Henry County to be a part of the commuter rail network. Again, there is much more work to do to better prepare for our children's future, while at the same time providing a great place for all of our citizens. We are working hard to make county a place to be admired. And Henry County must remain a prosperous and economically sound community for all of our residents. We are in a sound financial state with the current AA bond rating and will work to make our finances even stronger. The county management team is continuously creating a leaner organization with a more effective budget, all while striving to offer excellent services to our citizens and our businesses. The Board of Commissioners recently set a millage rate to provide you services with all this growth with no increase from last year's tax rate. We must continue the positive trends of increasing the median household income, increasing property values, and keeping low poverty levels here in Henry County. And we even appreciate connecting Henry 
the faith-based community, our veteran support groups, and judicial leaders for helping to address the issues of poverty and homelessness in Henry County by helping to keep families on their feet and to support them so that they become more self-sufficient. We have opportunities still. So Henry County, together, let's get through our growing pains. Let's shape our future versus complaining about the change. We are making progress and there is much more work to be done. Henry County, including the cities of Stockbridge, Locust Grove, Hampton, and McDonough, we must leverage leadership working together, using innovation, advancing technology, and state-of-the-art infrastructure to again be a vibrant and inclusive community for its residents and businesses, not just for now, but also for the future. So I say to our citizens, to our elected and appointed officials, to our government leaders, to our partners and other agencies that are here today, Let's work together to catch up and get ahead. Let's move past cultural differences, partisan politics, individual preferences, and other differences, and find the good and common interests to better blend the old and the new for the most peaceful place to live, work, play, and pray. Let's move past county and city district boundaries and move ahead together with one vision and one voice for smart growth as a Southern Crescent regional leader for now and into the future. Let's continue the focus on public safety and health because we are fortunate to have the lowest crime index compared to surrounding counties, but let's think ahead and move ahead so that we are all of our citizens here in the county and then the cities are more safe and more peaceful than any other county in the state and even the nation. We have a joint transportation improvement plan and a joint comprehensive land use plan that we need to overlay. So let's move ahead to implement more joint strategies and priorities for road and broadband and other advanced technology to prepare for advanced technology for mass commute, connected vehicles, and other medical and tech career opportunities. Let's move ahead and even develop a joint economic strategy so that our children 20 years from now would not complain that we should have and could have better prepared for their future. Let's remove the I and make it a we. Henry County, it's critical that we together make our way through this change in a positive way for our citizens, for our businesses, with a joint vision that supports our differences and with collaborative leadership, build a prosperous county and cities that are now here and also into the future. Together, we're catching up. Together, we can continue to move ahead in a great way. We're coming through growing pains as a fast growing community. And yes, it is still up to us Yes, together we can make Henry better. And yes, we are working to catch up and move ahead. There is great hope for Henry County, including the cities of McDonough, Stockbridge, Hampton, and Locust Grove. So please join together to ensure that Henry County continues to move in a positive direction with one voice. Join in and please help Henry County to be a county of excellence by leveraging innovation, advanced technology, and state-of-the-art infrastructure to be a vibrant and inclusive community for our residents and our businesses now and forevermore. I want to say thank you to you all in advance for doing your part to continue to move Henry County forward. It is my honor to work with this Board of Commissioners all of our legislators and legislative bodies, the city officials, our appointed leaders, our community partners and community influencers. Most important, I count it a privilege to stand before you and to serve you, the great people of this great county. God bless America. God bless Henry County. Thank you.